Okay, you can see that John invited some guests to his party. 75 of the guests were adults, one third of the remaining guests were girls, and the rest were boys, given that the boys were one quarter of the guests. How many guests were invited altogether? Draw a simple model to represent the total number of guests. Okay, this model will represent the total number of guests. I know that 75 were adults. So I have 75 here and they are adults. Okay. One quarter, no, one third of the remaining guests were girls. So where are the remaining? Let me label the remaining. This is the remaining. Of the remaining, one third were girls. So I cut it into three parts, knowing that this represent girls. Okay, let me improve on this. It's a bit unclear here. It looks a bit like six. I'm going to erase it to make it clearer. Okay, so I have a five here actually. One third of the remaining guests were girls. The rest were boys. So you can see that this represent boys. And you can see that two parts is actually one quarter. If these two parts is actually one quarter, so two parts is one quarter. For one whole, one whole, how many parts is it? So you can see that one quarter, right? This is actually two parts of what you can consider as two units. You see? One unit, one unit. So one whole will actually be two units times four equals to equals to eight units. Okay. Equals to eight units. Now, if you know that the total is 8 units, boys, 1 unit, 1 unit, girls here will be 1 unit as well, right? And the entire whole is 8 units. Will you be able to tell how many units is this 75? You'll be able to do that, right? 8 units minus the 3 units here. So when 8 units minus the 3 units here, what do you get? You actually get 5 units. Okay. 5 units equals to 75. 1 unit equals to 75 divided by 5 gives you 15. How many guests were invited together? So you can see the total number of guests is actually 8 units, right? So move out a little bit. Eight units equals to fifteen multiplied by eight is hundred and twenty. So that's how you solve this question. Remember to write answer at the bottom, 120 guess. Okay, let's move on to the next question. Okay, zoom in the question. So, some people went to watch a musical. 96 of the audience were children, 
two-fifths of the remaining audience were men and the rest were women. If the number of women was one-third of the total audience, that means total number of audience, how many people went to watch the musical? Again, we draw a simple model to represent the total number of people. 96 were children, so I don't know how much is 96, but I know this is, we draw an approximate 96 children. Two fifth of the remaining. What's the remaining? Here must be a remaining, right? Remaining. Two fifth of the remaining. So, because of two out of five, I need to cut it into five parts. Let's cut the remaining into five parts. One, two. 3, 4, 5. Okay, 2 fifth of the remaining is here, right? Were men. And the rest were women. Woman. You know that woman is one third. And you can see that one third is how many units? One, two, three, right? So one third of the total is actually three units. That means one whole. One whole represents the total number of audience will be 3 units times 3 equals to 9 units. So I have 9 units to represent the total number of people. So how many units for men? I can fill in 1 unit, 1 unit, right? So all together you can see the men and the woman all together as up to 5 units. If you know that the man and the woman is 5 units, that means the total number of adults is 5 units. What about children? 9 units minus 5 units here, right? So equals to 4 units. So you have 4 units equals to 96. 1 unit equals to 96 divided by 4. We get 96 divided by 4, what do you get? You get 24. So how many people went to watch the musical? Total 9 units, right? So 9 units equals to 24 multiplied by 9. So you can use your calculator to calculate. 24 multiplied by 9 equals to 216. Let's write it down, 216. 16, which is also the answer. Moving on to the next question. Okay, Bruce had some money in his wallet. He spent $390 on a watch and 5 over 7 of the remaining money on a belt. The amount of money left in the wallet was one-tenth of the amount of money he had at first. How much money did he have at first? So we draw a model to represent the amount of money he has at first. Now, $390 on a watch. $390 on a watch. Five over seven of the remaining. Remaining will be here. And out of the remaining, we need to cut into how many parts? Five out of seven, right? So that means total number of parts you need to cut into is seven. One, two, three, four, 
three, four, five, six, seven. So one, two, three, four, five. Out of these five parts, we spend on a belt. Now the amount of money left. So this must be the amount of money that's left, right? After you spend on a watch and a belt, this one must be the amount of money left. Is one tenth of the total. So you can see one unit, one unit is actually one tenth. So I can I can conclude that one tenth is actually two units. One tenth is actually two units. Now what about one whole? One whole will represent the total amount of money, right? So one whole will be two units multiplied by ten give you twenty units. So I know the whole thing is twenty units. Twenty units represent the money he has in his wallet. So let's find out number of units for belt. One, two, three, four, five. Five units on belt, two units left. 5 units and 2 units make, give us 7 units, right? So the remaining is 7 units. If the remaining is 7 units, how many units is the watch? So remaining is 7 units. We have total 20 units. 20 minus 7 to give you 13 units. And this will give us our $390. If you know that 13 units is $319, $390, sorry. So one unit, you actually use 390 divided by 13 to give you $30. How much money did he have at first? At first, you can see it's 20 units. So 20 units equals to 30 times 20 if you $600, right? 20 times 30 or $30 times 20 is $600. Six. Okay, now let's move on to the next question, which is also our last question for today. Let me zoom in for you. Okay, Clark bought some gifts for his children. He gave 234 of them to a children's home. Three eighths of the remaining, remaining is the remaining gifts, okay, to a hot hospital and the rest to a refugee camp. The number of gifts he gave to a refugee camp was two fifths of the total number of gifts bought. How many gifts did he buy? So he bought some gifts for his children, for, not for his children, but for children. Okay. Now this model represents the gift, total number of gifts. He gives 234, 2, 3, 4, to a children's home. Okay, children's home. And 3 eight of the remaining to a hospital. Let me mark out the remaining. This is the remaining. Okay, what fraction of the remaining is given to the children home? Three out of eight. So I need to cut this into eight parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
So 3 out of 8 to hospital. 1, 2, 3. Hospital. Hospital. And the rest, the refugee camp. That means this is the rest. It's given to a refugee camp. So the number of gifts he gave to a refugee camp was two fifth. So this is actually two fifth of the total number of gifts. So let's count two fifth is how many units? One, two. 3, 4, 5. So you know that 2 fifth is actually 5 units. Right, so 5 units. So, in other words, I can find 1 fifth, which is, of course, half of this 5 units, right, which gives us 2.5 units or 2.5 units. Okay, so we want to find one hole, which is to represent the total number of toys. I multiply this by 5, which gives me 12.5 units. Okay, so one hole 12.5 units. 12.5 units. Now, one hole is 12.5 units. So let's see how many units is given to a hospital. One, two, three units given to a hospital. One, two, three, four, five, five units given to a refugee camp. Three plus five. That means the remaining is 8 units. If the remaining is 8 units, 234 is how many units? We know the total is 12.5 units. 12.5 minus these 8 units will tell me the number of units for the children's home, right? Which we can calculate easily, which is 4.5 units. You can use your calculator as well. So 12.5 units, it will be equals to 234. Can I find one unit? Yes, I can, right? So I use 234 divide by 4.5 using a calculator, 234. 34 divided by 4.5, you actually get 52. So one unit represents 52 toys. How, no, sorry, for, for 52 gifts. So how many gifts did he buy? Altogether, 12.5 units. I need to write down 12.5 units. So 12.5 units equals to 52 multiplied by 12.5. Okay, let's move this a bit higher. Now, let us calculate how much is 52 times 12.5. 52 times 12.5 will give us 650. So, we know that he bought 650 gifts. So remember, we need to write the answer at the answer box, right? Answer blank. So 650. So that's all for this strategy today.